Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we had fun in the Winter Wonderland of Inabum, enjoying our Christmas and New Year's events, and also found out that Marie is missing. So, with that being said, we're slowly but surely making our way to the end of our adventure. So, with Marie now missing, and Margaret searching for her, we have just a little bit of more time until we actually get into the next dungeon of the game. So I'm more than likely going to be saying for sure that today more than likely will be a social link episode. So we're going to be doing free time, kind of like wondering what's going on with the snowy atmosphere, kind of chilling around and relaxing a little bit. So this might be a shorter episode. I'm not entirely sure yet, but let's begin our today and begin today's episode since honestly, I have no clue what we're going to be getting ourselves into since all we really know is we went into a coma in the last one, we know that Marie's missing, we had some fun with the um, Christmas and New Year's events, both um, the normal versions and the Chie version, since we also had the romance option version ones, and you, re you wouldn't have that um, if you didn't have the romance option available. So, honestly, a pretty fun episode. And we also had the fact that, uh, what do you call it... Who was it again? Oh yeah, we've said hello to everyone for the Happy New Year's thing, so honestly, it was pretty chill, honestly. But, I think we're ready. So, the third school year term kind of begins today. It seems that you've, you've fully recovered. Um, Sensei, I think you're okay now. Um, take care. Okay, we'll see you later, Teddy. Thank you for taking care of us, and since I'm gonna pretend that Teddy was the one that took care of us, since our character more than likely doesn't know that... Yosuke and everyone else came over and made sure we were okay, since literally I got, our guy has been in a coma, and we literally, all we really know is that we saw Marie, we heard uh, Margaret tell us that she has found Marie, and she is indeed in a dangerous place, and then Teddy was like, hey, you're awake, hey, welcome back, um, you kind of been out for a couple days, but with that, you pull your winter clothes out of the dresser and leave for school. You have obtained the Midwinter Yasso. Okay, cool. A new pair of clothes to wear. I'll take it. Ooh, I like the colors. White and black. That's a nice costume right there. Um, morning spooks. Hey, Yosuke. Um, are you feeling better? I ringed out when Teddy told me how bad it was. Hmm. Uh, you were kind of growing, groaning that day when I went to see you too. Well, even if we didn't plan it, I'm glad Teddy was there with you. He put everything we he had into taking care of you. Hmm, I'm sorry to worry you. Uh, don't sweat it. You're all better now. Oh yeah, about the ski trip, we decided to hold off until uh, another holiday. I'll set some of my New Year's money aside, so let's make our plans then. Uh, there is that block of the holidays in February. I think that might be the time to do it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, in February. Okay, so we have a whole month until the next event then, and I'm pretty sure the Hollow Forest Dungeon doesn't start until February. Okay, for our first social link for today, we're actually going to be doing Ko and Dasuke, since I believe we should be getting them finished up first, since they're literally one of the first social links we got, and I've been kind of feeling bad that we haven't finished this one, one off yet, so let's see how Dasuke and, Yos and Ko are doing. Oh, uh, you spooks. Uh, don't worry, see Ko, but you got pregnancy. You feel your relationship with Ko is going to become closer soon. Will you attend basketball practice this afternoon? Sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You're really getting into it. Dasuke seems to admire you. Hmm, that's good to know. And that's actually really cool to know since I do like Dasuke myself. He also got me high school gym. Hmm. Oh, hey Ko. Um, hey Spooks. I'm about to, um, I'm gonna head out to the orphanage. I just wanted you to know. Um, later. Oh, okay. We'll see you later, Ko. He's going to go see about his parents then. You watch Ko leave, and then practice with the rest of the team. Hmm, your diligence is increased. Cool. I'll take it, since I haven't actually maxed it out yet. That's the last thing we actually do need to max out. Oh, oh, yo, hey, uh, where's Ko? Um, you told Ko, or Daisuke, that Ko went to the orphanage. Um, today, hmm, um, I'm going to worry. Um, let's catch up to him. Yeah, let's definitely. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Dasuke nods in agreement. Okay, let's go see how he's doing. Oh, uh, let's go today. You decided to go meet Ko at the station with Dasuke. 
Okay, let's go see how Ko is doing, since we want to make sure he does come back. Since we weren't sure about that. The Yasa in a bus station entrance. Hmm, I'm surprised he's still wearing his, um, what do you call it, his soccer jersey. You'd think that he would end up putting on some kind of, like, winter jacket to kind of, like, f fight off the snow, to be honest, but I guess he's good in his jersey, apparently. Um, what are you two doing here? Um, find anything out, you all right? Um, find anything out, actually. Um, no, not yet. Wait, you guys came here. All the way out here, just to worry about me. Um, losers. Uh, okay, contrary to his words, Ko looks happy. Um, the old orphanage hasn't changed at all. The teachers even remembered who I was, and they were really nice to me. But they said they can't tell me who my real parents are, or why I was left there. Hmm. Uh, no kidding. Hmm, that's weird. They did give me this, though. I've been too scared to read it by myself, but... It's a letter from the person who left me at the orphanage. Hmm? Really? So it must be your parents, right? Um, I'm gonna read it. Okay, let's read it. Dear Kokun, by the time you read this, you'll have grown into a fine young man. Your parents named you Ko because they hoped that you would always be in good health. They considered health more important than fame or money because it's much harder to keep and maintain. You see, your parents were very frail, and they passed away about half a year after you were given up for adoption. Oh, that's kind of sad. They, they always wanted you to know how sorry that they were that they couldn't raise you themselves. They loved you very dearly. Hmm, Ko, you are your parents' ray of hope. No matter how difficult things get, hold on, hold your head up high and keep play, pressing onward that you can't lose hope. Both of them would undoubtedly say, we will be watching over you, always. Hmm, that's pretty nice of a letter. No names, not a single clue. Hmm, my real parents are dead. Hmm. How does that make you feel? Um, I was half expecting something like this, but it's still pretty shocking, you know. I have no one. Um, that's not really true. You have Dasuke and me. Um, you think so? I really don't know anymore. Ko smiles wryly. Hmm, you gonna be okay, bud? But I'm glad to have found out. I'm glad to have this. Well, at least he's happy. Um, thanks, man. No problem. What about Dasuke? He came here too. Ko smiles weakly. It seems you were able to support Ko. No problem, buddy. And with that, I believe this is rank 8. Yes, it is. Okay. Rank 8 of the Strength Arcana. I'll definitely take that. The fellow athlete's social link has reached level 8. Your power trait personas of the Strength Arcana has grown as well. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna get dark soon. Let's head up. The others are worried about you too, you know. Hmm. Yeah, they'll definitely be worried about you. So, after seeing Ko off, he parted with Dasuke and went home. Okay, with 111 now upon us, and I actually went out and did a bunch of little things in between. So, I ended up finally getting the Fox's Emma pretty much done for the, um, you have to find the cat and get the guy to not be scared of cats anymore, so I went out and did that. And also, it looks like, um, there might be another conversation for all of our main cast because of the fact that I was approached by quite a bit of them. So with that, let's actually see what everyone wants, and I believe we're finally on our true awakenings, due to the fact that I know that Golden had this, since in the original game it didn't have a second awakening, and this is something I knew about because of P5, so I had a feeling that this game would have one, and I ended up finding out that there is that in this game, so... I believe that is what we're about to do, so let's do our first one is Yukiko, since Yukiko is one of the most important people on our main cast, due to the fact that she is literally our support, so let's actually see how she's doing. Oh, oh Spooksken. Oh, hey, do you have any time for you later today? It doesn't have to be for too long, but um, I want to spend some time with you. It seems Yukiko wants to talk about something. Will you spend the afternoon with Yukiko? And with that, let's go talk to her. Oh, it's great. Thank you. Yukiko seems happy. And with that, today ended up being important because I'm pretty sure this is indeed what I think it is. So, let's see here. Samagawa floodplains. Okay, what do you want, Yukiko? Oh, I'm sorry to ask you here so suddenly. 
it feels a bit awkward going home today. Um, it's fine with me. Um, what's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong, Yukiko? Um, well, Yukiko seems uncomfortable. Um, it's actually customer day for me today. Hmm? What's customer day? Um, that's a day where the ants employees take turns being customers. We've done it every now and then for a while, but they decided to participate this time too. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our family in is truly satisfying, so I asked them to sign me up. Hmm, that's a great thing to do. Yeah, it sounds pretty smart. Um, you think so? I was embarrassed. Hmm, Yukiko is blushing. Yeah, it actually does make a lot of sense to do that. It actually is pretty smart. Um, I pleased customer once before too, but I mean, it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having mother and everyone say they like, welcome to me. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little bit longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. Yukiko is smiling wryly. You okay? Is this not what you want to do? He told everyone at the end that he had a plan to take over his manager. That he wants to leave Inaba. Hmm? You, you're actually going to leave? I thought it would be finally coming to clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and they said that they knew already. Hmm, I thought you said you were going to stay. I guess she changed her mind. Um, it made me realize how small I was. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. Hmm. Okay. But after making so many good friends, like you and G.A., I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time, away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep avoiding my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. Hmm. Makes sense. When I open my eyes, I see fast wor how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by very kind and supportive people. Now I hope I can grow into someone that I, I can support them in turn. Hmm. Yukiko is smiling cheerfully. Looks like you know what you want to do then. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can help you out with that. And there it is. So I was right. This is their true awakenings. I was actually um, kind of concerned that it would be at the very end of the game. But thankfully we actually get this for the last two dungeons. So that's actually really nice. So we actually get to use their awakening. So that's nice. Yukiko's heart has developed, having developed over this difficult year, attains great power. Okay. And what is her next one? Ooh, I like that design. It looks even cooler than the last one. Yukiko's persona has been reborn again. Amaterasu has transferred into Sumeo Okami. Okay. Okami, you say? That kind of reminds me of the Okami games, if, um, to be completely honest. But Burning Pennels. This persona can't remember any more skills, so choose one to forget. Severe fire damage to everybody. That is really good. Because of the fact that, um, all the main characters, or my character is what I'm saying. So all, my character can only get personas with severe one-hit attacks. So that's actually cool that I see severe fire for everybody. So that's actually really nice. This is literally, she's a one-of-a-kind because our character can't do this. So I'll take that. So Maragidine for Burning Petals. Cool. Sounds like a cool attack too. It might even look um, like have a special animation and everything. Burning Petals has replaced Maragidine. With that, I think Yukiko will be happy with that. Okay, cool. What a cool looking persona though. I actually wonder what everyone's are going to look like, since I actually don't know what they're going to look like. All I know is that there was a true awakening for everybody. My persona? I see, so I can still change. Yeah, you can. As long as I, all of you are with me, I think I can go on without making mistakes. So I hope we'll always be friends. Yeah, of course. You feel an unbreakably, unbreakably strong bond with Yukiko. I actually didn't know that was a specific word. I didn't know you could add L-Y to unbreakable, but okay. You spent time talking about all sorts of things and with... Wait, of thing things with... Okay, that's different. With Yukiko, until it became dark out.
Okay, as I said before in a previous episode, the knights aren't really going to have anything anymore, so literally we don't really need to do anything at night anymore unless there's like a um, progression for a social link or anything like that. Like a um, conversation that would increase our social links or anything like that. You know, like the extra points that we might need in order to progress them further kind of things. So that's... Let's actually see how Yosuke's doing to do his true awakening. Um, Yosuke Boots. Hey, if you're not busy, can you give me a little uh, of your time? It's not that much, but there's something I want you to hear. You know, before you go back. It seems Yosuke wants to talk to you about something. Will you spend the afternoon with Yosuke? And that is a definite yes. Um, alright, let's go then. Yosuke seems happy. That's... Let's go see what he wants. Because we definitely should check him out. And obviously, we already know that True Awakenings are now um, available, so... Honestly, it makes sense to go here. Samagawa Riverbank. Hmm, what is it, Yosuke? It's been a while since I last talked to you one-on-one -on -one like this. It's been pretty busy in the department I work in. I'm still doing that consultation thing, too. Hmm, okay. Indeed, Yosuke looks like he's lost some weight. Hmm? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I caused you some trouble, too, with all that mess, Juness. Um, it wasn't a problem. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it didn't it didn't bother me. I especially like the Halloween event. Yosuke has a calm smile on his face. Um, back then I was constantly irritated, wondering why that stuff was happening to me. I was overworked just because I was the storm's manager's son, and on top of that, tons of people took me for granted. I thought no one was th uh, thinking about me. Hmm. <laughs> That's definitely not the case. Everyone was thinking about you. Huh, but that's not how I feel now. That's good. I took a roundabout way realizing this, but one consult uh, constant uh, but one constant in my life is that people really rely on me. I thought before that I was shameless for being like that, but I just don't mind it. When I'm doing things for other people, it's, uh, it helps me try harder. <laughs> that's good, Yosuke. Seems like you understand what you want to do now, then. When Nanako-chan was kidnapped, didn't you think I was surprisingly on top of things? Um, you were the one, only one I could rely on. Um, yeah, you were. Yeah, you were, indeed. <laughs> now that you say that, it's like, yeah, I feel pretty lame. Yosuke seems embarrassed. Um, any, in any case, I died pretty hard in that time. Of course, I was serious about wanting to save Nanako-chan and solve this case. Well, of course, we already know that. You, you were literally just a group at this point, and we just wanted to make sure Nanako was safe. There was nothing else about it. Um, but mainly, it was because I thought you were going through some tough times. Oh, that's nice of you. Yosuke is smiling gently. Um, when we were being dropping Namatami into TV, I was just seeing red. I was so overwhelmed with hate and wanting to blame everything on him, that I stopped thinking for myself. I think the same could be said about what happened to Juness. People just think about their own interests, but if I ignore them and say it's none of my business, I won't get anywhere. I'll forget what's important, and I won't be able to be proud of myself. I won't be able to say I did my best. Hmm, makes sense. Um, I want to keep pushing myself like that. I want people to like, care about to be happy. Oh, that's, th that's actually really admirable of you, Yosuke. I think you really have grown, honestly. Yosuke is smiling cheerfully. <laughs> yeah, good one on you, Yosuke. Good one, bud. And with that, the true awakening of Yosuke. I actually wonder what his is going to look like. Yosuke's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. I actually kind of miss the frog one that he had, the camo frog. But, ooh, it's not that bad. It's better than the last one, I'll be honest. Yosuke's persona has been reborn again. Suzano has transfigured into Takai... Uh, Suzano. Hmm, okay. Still no frog-like aspects to him, but I do kind of miss that, but it's, it's still pretty cool. It's like a sun with a fan. That's actually kind of cool. And then you have the, um, well, the little razor um, wheel things. Basically ninja stars uh, wrapped around him. Takai Haya um, Suzano learned youthful wind. His persona can't remember any more skills, so choose one to forget. What does it do? Moderately restores party's HP and raises hit and evasion rate for three turns. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, so basically just a better version of Masu Kanja here. 
So just get rid of Monster Conjure for Youthful Wind. Ends an easy answer. So there we go. Now we have Youthful Wind. I'll take it honestly. Not bad whatsoever. Cool. Good one on you, Yosuke. Huh, new power. <laughs> is this for real? Yep, it is, buddy. There's a lot I'm grateful for for the, this past year, but the biggest thing I think it was that I met you. If you ever lose your way, I'll go knock some sense in you. It won't matter if you're at the ends of the earth or in somewhere dark and bleak. That's what partners are for, right? True. I'll be counting on you, partner. Yeah, indeed. Thank you, Yosuke. <laughs> no problem, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for um, the little pep talk. You sense Yosuke's passion and strong, unwavering bond. <laughs> well, let's get on out of here, Yosuke. You spent time talking about all sorts of things with Yosuke until it became dark out. Okay, for our third true awakening, I think we should do Risei. Due to the fact that Risei is our support, and she's always on the team, it honestly makes the most sense to do her next, so... Honestly, yeah, she's always gonna be on the team, so let's make sure she's done, since you never know, honestly. Um, oh, Senpai. Um, I got another letter from that girl the other day. Hmm. Um, Senpai, there's something I'd like to, you to hear. It seems Risei wants to talk to you about something. Well, we already know what that something is, and it's that, um, fan, fangirl that she has that, um, wanted Re uh, Rosetta to come back. We spend the afternoon with Risei, and that's an obvious yes. Thanks, Senpai. Risei seems happy. With that, let's go see how Risei is doing. Technically, wouldn't this be a 11 social link in a way? Because of the fact that it's, it does give you something for doing it. So honestly, I might as well just say it's 11 social link at this point. But honestly, it's a true awakening. So honestly, I think that's a better way of saying it. The hill overlooking town. Ooh, it looks nice in, on the, um, in the snowy uh, times, honestly. Um, was it okay to come out today? Did you have anything you needed to do? Um, Risa has a meek expression on her face. Hmm? What do you mean? Um, you remember when I told you before that I had a number one fan? A girl who was being bullied and would send me letters. Yeah, I remember. Um, she sent me another letter. She says she's going to stop being my fan. She's made friends with someone, but her new friend is a fan of someone else. It seems she was she was told, like, I'll quit being your friend if you stay a Rossetti fan. She did say that she'll be cheering for me in her heart, but she won't be sending me any more letters. Hmm. You have another fan right here. Yeah, you do. Honestly, you're all good. Oh, you mean you, senpai? <laughs> you're really kind. <laughs> no problem. You see tears in Risei's eyes. So, what are you going to do about that? all that? Relationships between people are difficult, aren't they, senpai? There's something like a mutual respect between her and me. I don't even know what she looks like, but I know she was, has a pure heart. I also know she's very persistent. But when another person enters the picture, things suddenly get complicated. Throw, throw in four or five people, and it's pure chaos. There's no malice involved. It's no one's fault. Yet we end up hurting each other, becoming lost. Um, it makes me so tired sometimes. Hmm. Rise gazes into the distance. Honestly, like I've heard before, relationships are like a rope. If you um, cut it a little bit, you can always tie the, each end of the rope closer, closer and closer together each time the rope breaks or snaps. So honestly, you'll be okay, I think. I think you'll be closer and closer and have a closer bond with whoever you end up wanting to meet in the future. So, honestly, I think you'll be okay, Risei. But that's why I want to keep trying my best. I mean, I'm an idol after all. Um, that's admirable of you. <laughs> Even uh, sp uh, you here is honestly turning into me because I literally keep saying admirable whenever I get the chance. Um, thanks. No problem. Risei is smiling happily. Um, an idol isn't some doll in a window being held up for public display. I think I need someone, somebody who can endure things and stand their ground, no matter which way they're pushed. Even if that girl doesn't write me letters, I bet she'll still watch me on if I'm on TV. I can be your strength, as well as many other people's strength, even though my things may not go on my way, and I may be troubled, swept on my feet, and get lost, I won't lose. 
I have to protect the smiles of the people who were precious to me. That's the resolve I found after meeting all of you. Hmm. Rise smiles cheerfully. That sounds pretty good, good of you, Rise. So honestly, I think you definitely have grown out of that. And I think you'll be okay from now on. Rise's heart has, having developed over this difficult year, attained greater power. And let's see how the telescope head ends up- Oh! She actually turned into a real telescope. Okay, I was actually just joking that it looked like a telescope, but she literally turned into a real telescope head. Okay, um, Rise's persona has been reborn again. Kenzeon has transfigured into Kuzeon. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Complete analysis. Okay, let's take it. Full analysis has powered up to complete analysis. Along with the skills the enemy has, has, you can now find out about the infinities you haven't attacked in the past as well. Oh, so now we know everything's weaknesses now. Right? That's what that means, right? I could be wrong, but I'm gonna guess it probably is. Um, yeah, I can tell. I sense a power inside me that I didn't have before. I've learned so many important things from the people I hold dear to me. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna be definitely fine. Um, Senpai, I feel like my heart is about to burst. I'm so excited about the future now. Hardships and sadness and everything it can all be changed into the power to take a step forward. Um, I'm just getting started. Um, you and everyone else, you're all going to keep changing too, in your own ways. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. And when I smile at TV, I'm smiling for you, so you smile too, Senpai. You have me and everyone else. <laughs> yeah, of course. When spring comes around and we have to say goodbye, it'll be sad, sure, but we'll be okay. Yeah, I think so. You sense that the strong bond between you and Rise cannot be changed. Yeah, of course. We're basically irreplaceable at this point. You and Rise spend a long time talking about all sorts of things until it becomes dark out. Okay, into 114, I believe we should probably do Kanji next since, as you all know, he's my favorite of the cast, so... Honestly, let's do him next, since honestly the first one was because we needed the supports, and then Yosuke was because he was our first party member. So now that all those are done, I believe we can start working on the ones I want to do first. Basically, it's like which characters I have a closer connection to and which ones I like the most. So now that we're done with all the ones that are kind of necessary, I think we'll do Kanji first as my actual one that I wanted to do. So. With that, let's see how Kanji's doing. Oh, so good, Senpai. You're bored uh, today, right? Um, uh, right. You're seriously like the only one I can talk to, uh, heart to heart. Thinking of, uh, 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 helping a friend down. I'm begging you. It seems Kanji wants to talk to you about something. Will you spend the afternoon with Kanji? And that is a definite yes. Um, alright. Then let's hurry and get somewhere we can be alone. Hmm. Uh, wait, that ain't what I meant. I just want to talk to you about something that ain't for anyone else to hear, so... Um, anyways, let's go already. We're heading to your place. Kanji will be coming over to your place. Okay, yeah, of course, you can come over whenever you want, honestly, Kanji. Okay, so let's see what his, his true awakening is going to be. Your room. Kanji asks you to come over despite any plans you had, so you brought him here. Okay, welcome to our room, then. Um, sorry for barging in like this. Wanted to talk to you, uh, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. Hmm, what is it, Kanji? Kanji is fidgeting for some reason. Hmm? What is it, bud? Um, you know, well, um, uh, it's a present. Well, it would be, um... Hmm? Uh, a present, you say? Um, oh, right, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so I thought I'd ask you for your advice. Um, it's for a woman. Um, decided to confess your love? <laughs> yeah, you want to go confess to Naoto now? Um, confess my love, um, to who? Oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk about Naoto. Kanji's sweating. Um, I want to give it to Ma. Oh, okay. Um, I think anything would work. Yeah, I think she'll be fine with anything, bud. Um, that's what makes it so hard. Um, there's got to be something. It wouldn't be a good idea to give her. Kanji seems desperate. Um, I'm begging him. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be, a da uh, to be damn sure Ma's happy with it. Um, I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Hmm? Wait, what? 
Um, oh, um, it was just for the exam. Uh, though, she's already out and, uh, doing totally fine. Uh, but the test seemed like they were, they were rough on her, so, um, I want to give her something like a hospitality award. Hmm, that's nice of you. Yeah, that's really nice of you, bud. See, that's what I said, he has a golden heart. Um, stop teasing me. That's fine, buddy. Kanji's face is completely red. Um, I wanted to go visit her, uh, while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Mom looked at me and said, You've changed. She said your father and I are proud of you, son. Aw, that's really nice of her. How do you feel about that, buddy? I think, um... <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> Kanji's eyes are slightly red. Aw, he's crying. Aw, poor dude. But honestly, I'm, I'm glad about this. He definitely needed help. And I think he's very, 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 um... Thankful for everything we've helped him through. Um, pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright, and I keep causing her all this trouble. Aw, oh, poor dude. And she says she's proud of me. Yeah, she is. Kanji's voice is shaking. You okay, bud? I mean, I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a bum like me without a single complaint, worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I feel, I just feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> I'm kinda getting leaky here. Oh, it's fine, buddy. I don't mind. <laughs> cry, all, uh, cry as much as you want, bud. I honestly don't mind. Um, I'm always right, though. I've changed. It was cause I got to know you guys. Till I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo. And that I'm trying to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. Always proud of myself, but getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold up my head high, Ma's gonna be proud of me. So, still, I want to become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. So I'm gonna spend my life keeping myself in check, making sure I don't lose my way again, or start lying to myself. <laughs> Good one, buddy. Kanji is smiling cheerfully. Yeah, you definitely have grown. At first, you were scared of everything, and now, you don't care what other people think about you. You're gonna live your life the way you want to live it. And if it means making cute things, honestly, you're gonna do it anyways. Good on you, bud. Kanji's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. With that, I actually hope this one changes, because... There we go. That looks better. And it looks like it doesn't go back into being a skeleton, but... Honestly, I like it. I like that design. It's still kind of like the other one, the fire one, but honestly, it's not bad. It's actually kind of funny because of the fact that Kanji has no fire skills and it looks more like a fire persona, to be honest. But Kanji's persona has been reborn again. Rokoten Mayo has transfigured into Takeji Zaiten. Okay, cool. <laughs> kind of reminds me of, um, what do you call him? Um, trying to remember his name, Ryuji's um, persona, when it becomes the final one in, uh, what do you call it, Royal in 5. I don't know, uh, well, actually, you still get it in 5. It doesn't have to happen in Royal that you get your true persona in that game, because I remember getting it, I think. Actually, no, I don't remember. No. You get your Awakening, but you can't get your tr the true Awakening. There we go. Okay. I, I, I forgot where I saw it because I know I watched the, um, I didn't actually get to see the whole, like, thing. I just wanted to see what the personas looked like and, um, when they're at their max on Persona 5. And I watched a video just to see the actual persona. I didn't actually re look at any of the conversations, though. That's something I do kind of want to think about, though. But, um, it looks like Takeshi Zaiten learned the man's way. This persona can't remember any more skills, so choose one to forget. Main flick dizzy down. Okay, that's not bad. Um, it's better than having this because primal force is literally better than having this one. So honestly, just yeah, get rid of torrent shot. Man's way is better than that. So cool. Now we have the man's way, and Kanji has officially went through his true awakening. So good on you, buddy. I think you're definitely gonna be okay. Oh, new power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing whoever I want to, uh, from here on out. Yep, you will, bud. Um, I want to fight for others instead of just myself. Um, I'd rather die to someone that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. 
and one day I'll be, be strong enough to take you too. <laughs> um, I'll be I'll be counting on you too. Yeah, I think I will. Um, it takes a hell of a strong man to say that, Sensei. I've got a long ways to go. <laughs> Kanji is smiling with fierce determination. Um, well then, let's make that gift. Yeah, of course. I promised you. Um, my present mom, I've got some tools for you to work with too. <laughs> what are we gonna make? Um, it's cold out now, so maybe some warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. Oh, like a blanket. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, how about a crochet and a hug and pillow? You can put a hot, hot water puddle inside. I go on the warm warm yard. Uh, if we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Ma always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Man, I'm glad I asked you, Senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? Yeah, it was. Oh, come on, you. Don't be like that. This is honestly fun. You spent unexpectedly long time with Kanji. Night fell and you saw Kanji off. Okay, so I was just getting ready to actually just go and see what we can do, but we actually ended up getting a call from Dojima, so let's see what 115 has to go with us since we have the free time today, since we don't have school today, and Dojima's calling, so let's see what's going on. Um, hey, it's me. Uh, Nanako's going to leave the hospital on the 20th. Doctor said she'll be well enough to recover at home by then. Um, I caused you a lot of worry, so it's okay now, so rest easy. Seems Nanako is leaving the hospital January 20th. You decided to wait for her arrival at the house. Okay, yeah, we'll be okay. So, does that mean her day's over? Nope, I'm not gonna do that whole shopping thing. I don't need to do any of that stuff, to be honest. Um, it looks like, well, usually it's hard to find people on Sunday, so I'm just gonna say we should just do the Fox now. So, let's go and just do that real quick. Since the Fox definitely needs us, so... This is the shrine's main building. You should report to the fox about making a w the wish of the on the Emma coming true. With that, so let's call the fox up and tell him that we helped out that, um, what was that? That uh, I forgot what the name of it is, but he was afraid of cats, but there's a specific phobia to it. But with that, you made sure there was no one around and called for the fox. Okay. Well, all of these have been the same, so I'm going to guess it's not going to change at all, but... Let's at least turn it in. The fox brought you the Emma with the wish that you fulfilled. It's probably worried about the outcome. You told the fox that you granted the wish written on the Emma. Hmm. The fox looks exuberant. Yeah, it looks like it's exactly the same. It's kind of bad that the fox can't talk to us, so there really isn't a social link here. It's kind of weird that this is a social link. The fox looks at the off Terry box and seems pleased. Honestly, it should have been a progressive quest, to be honest. But... Eh, it's fine. If rumors of the shrine's benevolence spread, more people may come to make offerings. Okay. Hmm. You can sense the fox's gratitude. Yeah, I think so too. So that would be rank 8. So we only have two more quests to do. Um, I don't know what the next one's gonna be, but I do know the last one is something about fishing. So, yeah. That's the one that I read. I thought it was this one that was the fishing one. Which technically it is. You need to have the fishing rod to get a red goldfish. And you need to get breadcrumbs from the Shiroku pub. So, yeah, definitely need it for that. But you need a um, a deep sea fishing rod for the 10th um, one. So, yeah, I had to get ready for that. So, thankfully, I know what to do. It's just that we need to get past rank 9 first in order to get rank 10. So, that's rank A of the fox or hermit. The fox social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of hermit arcana has grown as well. Since your relationship with the fox has grown stronger, it will give you a discount on its services inside the TV, which is literally useless now due to the fact that Restay literally heals me for full HP at this point, literally after every fight, so I really don't even need him anymore. You pass some time with the fox. Okay, for 116th morning, it looks like we got a little bit of, of a small story for Chie, so let's see how she's doing. Good um, morning! Hey, Chie. Um, hey, isn't it about time Dojima san and Nanako chan were back? Once Nanako chan's out of the hospital, I think we should have another celebration. Um, great idea. Yeah. Um, she was real, a real trooper, even at her age. I wonder what she, we can do to cheer her up. Um, I'll ask the others. We'll pitch in and give her a good party. Yeah, of course. That sounds like a fun time. I don't know if it's going to throw us right into the school or not. If it doesn't, we can just go straight into our next thing. Uh, usually that doesn't say anything, so just skip through that. 
and spend time with the fox, since we know this doesn't waste the day, so honestly, let's go grab rank 9 real quick. This is the shrine's main building, what will you do? I sent the Emma request, of course. You made sure that no one was around and called for the fox. Okay, and now we just wait for our buddy the fox to show up. And there he is. Hey, foxy buddy. The fox brought you an Emma with a wish written on it. It's written in a proper, elegant handwriting. My wallet is gone. It vanished in the dense fog. I yearn for some food. I wish my wallet would return. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Emma on its behalf. Could it be thinking that if wishes are fulfilled, then more money will be put into the offertory box? If you fulfill the wish on the Emma, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Accept the request. Um, sure. Yeah, of course. Accept request number 14. I wish my wallet would return. Hmm. The fox seems happy. Yeah, of course he would be. Because we're taking his Emma and making sure we do it. So with that, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to actually go and finish that off. And then I'll tell you exactly what I did. So... BRB boys and girls, and then we'll get into probably our next true awakening. Don't know who we're going to do it for though, so BRB. Okay, with the Emma now done, I'm actually going to tell you how to do it now. So, the lady is in the Salmagawa fl uh, Flood Plains, so you just go over to the lady over by the trash can, and then she says that she can't find her wallet. So, then you go over to the riverbank, and right next to the entrance near the stairs, there's a little sign on it. And the bush right next to that, if you look directly at it, you'll be able to pick up a round wallet. Well, that's not her wallet, or at least I didn't read it, so I'm going to guess it's more than likely not hers because she doesn't accept it. And then you go over to the North Shopping District after talking to her to find the actual wallet, which is the square wallet. And then once you get the square wallet, it's over in, next to the shrine, but a little bit lower near the telephone poles in the um, in the bushes next to the telephone pole near the shrines. And then when you go there, you grab the wallet, you give it to her, and then the Emma request is over. You can do it in literally one day. It's not like one of these ones like the last one and the... There was another one that I did that took a couple days to do. But yeah, definitely one of the easier ones. So that's... Let's actually do Neoto's True Awakening now. Um, oh, Spook Song. Uh, if you don't have any plans, perhaps you'd like to spend some time with me. It's nothing serious, but there is something I'd like you to hear. It seems Neodo wants to talk to you about something. We spend the afternoon with Neodo, and that's an obvious yes. Um, thank you. I wish to talk, uh, take another look at this town with you while you're still here. And Neodo seems happy. And that's, let's actually do this. So, let's go see how Neodo's doing. Our favorite ace detective. Samagawa Riverbank. Hmm. So, what do you want to talk about? Um, this place is covered in snow, too. It's chilly, but I like the winter and its tranquility. Things have become so peaceful lately. I feel like I've gotten used to it. The people of Inaba are thinking about the events that transpired and are making an effort to make the town better. Hmm. Um, that sounds great. Yeah, it does. So they're actually going out of their way to make the town look good. That's really good. Um, I've heard that a lot of local government projects are being considered, such as bringing back old festivals. It would seem that they are trying to revitalize the town commercially, but I think the people yearn for connection. Hmm, makes sense. Neodo smiles gently. So, are you going to stay? But as time passes, eventually, everything fades away eventually. Hmm. Okay. Whenever I handle a serious case, I always come across a certain problem. Man can forget about painful memories, and in doing so wipe away tears and learn to stand up again. But because we forget, we repeat the same mistake and cause those bad memories in the first place. Being able to get used to difficulty is a strength, but some people make mistakes because they get set in their own ways. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. But after meeting you all, I feel as if I found an answer into these doubts. I feel that the law, as long as you can find something precious in your heart, something to protect you, you'll be okay. As long as you have the precious someone that you, uh, that you need, no matter how much you forget, you can strive for better for future. For a better future, I mean. Um, of course, I have people who are precious to me as well. That's why I'm thinking about doing whatever I can for them too. This isn't just about me. 
I draw my strength from everyone else. They keep me alive. I've never considered things like that before. Hmm. And of course, the ones who taught me to think that way are none other than you and all of my other friends. Thank you, really. No problem. Neoto smiles cheerfully. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind helping you. You're literally our close friend, so honestly, there's no reason for us not to help you out. Okay, and with um, the cool looking persona that that is, I honestly wonder what the next version of it's going to be. Neoto's heart has developed over this difficult year and attains greater power. Okay, so let's see what the detective's persona ends up turning into. Ooh, red, white, uh, got a little bit of gold in there, and some black as well. Not bad, that's actually pretty cool as well. Although I really like the white and black, and I thought it looked pretty cool, but this ain't bad either. I honestly like it. Naoto's personality has been reborn again. Yamato Takaru has transfigured into Yamato Sumaragi. Okay, cool. And I like how it, um... Actually, now I think about it, it kind of looks like a Prince Charming as well, due to the fact that I have the long hair. But, honestly, it kind of reminds me more like, um... You know how uh, Naoto was called the Prince Detective? So you got the prince there, and then you have Naoto, Naoto and it makes the prince detective and Naoto into one. So it kind of makes it all into one uh, persona. So the persona can be seen as the prince detective now, and not Naoto. That's actually kind of cool. But Yamato Somaragi learned Shield of Justice. Eh? What's that? Shields the party from all damage once. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Okay then. Um, well, due to the fact that we really don't need, um, everyone being hit by a physical anymore, since our main character kind of does that on their own, um, I think we can get rid of Vorpal Blade for Shield of Justice. So with that, I'll definitely take that. Not bad. And actually, she now repels, um, Light and, um, Curse damage now. That's really, really good. And I think I saw that she drains or is strong against fire now. Not um, bad, that's actually really good. Um, there's a new power bonding in my heart. Yeah, there is. Um, I wonder if this means that I'm capable of change. I'm going to keep you learning from here on, and as long as I do, I can always change. That doesn't just apply to me. I'm sure the same can be said about you, too. Hmm, makes sense. Um, I'm starting to look forward to getting a, um, to, um, looking forward a bit to getting older. Me, you, and everyone else is going to keep changing. We'll all be having effects on each other all those years. I want to watch how all of us change each other all throughout my life. That's what I truly want. Hmm. You sense an unchanging, strong bond with Neodo. <laughs> Just wanted to make that sound as, uh, you know, unchanging as possible. You spend a long time with Neodo. Discussing all manner of things until it gets dark out. Okay, with only two more True Awakenings to do, I think we'll do them in this episode. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do Teddy very easily, so with that, let's see how Chie is doing now. Oh, oh Spookskun. Um, do you have time today? I was hoping you could come train with me. Well, I see training, but it's more like I just wanted to get some exercise. And I want to spend some time with you, um, while I still can. It seems Chie wants to talk to you about something. Will you spend the afternoon with Chie? And that's a definite yes. Also, by the way, I haven't said anything about it, but I really like the music in the background. It's honestly very, very calming. Okay, then let's go. Chie seems happy. That's... Let's finally do Chie's awakening. Only one more left. Samagawa Riverbank. You decided to train with Chie. <laughs> My moves are as sharp as always. Yeah, they seem fine. I guess this is more of my thing than after all. My shoulders were stiff because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Hmm? Stuff you're not used to? What do you mean? Um, actually, I was... You promise you won't laugh. I was studying and stuff. Hmm? Studying? Um, you're joking, right? Don't push yourself too hard. Um, don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Um, I'm not pushing myself too hard. I'm still keeping at it. She is pouting. Hmm? You gonna be okay? I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Thinking about Adachi san made me wonder if he was just weird. But then I thought if life had been different, 
I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could have. I realize that no matter how trivial that something seems, it's related to my life, and that scared me. Hmm, makes sense. That's why I started why during history class it hit me. Suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. The people back then and the things they did, their culture, it's all connected. And it's tied to me too. It's not just something that happened a really long time ago. In a faraway country, real people laughed, cried, and died there. Math and physics too. They were not make um, they may not make any sense to me. But there's things I can use to help me understand the world. And when I thought about it, and about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But I still don't, didn't make any sense to me. So I, I'd give up and then I'd come back again to it again. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? Um, that's not true. Yeah, that's not true at all. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. She seems happy. The way I'm thinking about has changed a lot over the past year, but I think that what changed the most is that I like this town now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now though, I realize that everyone is here, Yukiko, Yosuke, even you, all my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay as long as everyone's with me. Um, if I believe in them, in myself, I can always find a path. That's what I like to think. Hmm. That seems right. She is beaming. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really good. That's a really good way to see things. Okay. And with, um, Chie's little, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm trying to think of, um, what is it? Not the Jedi, but the... The Empire. With the little Empire's red uh, lightsaber blade persona that she has. Chie's heart has developed over this difficult year and attains greater power. Okay, well, I actually do wonder how this is- Ooh! Okay, it didn't change much, but honestly, I like it. It's actually a really good change to it. Chie's persona has been reborn again. Suzaku Suzuka Gongen has transfigured into Horado no Okami. Okay, cool. I'll take it. That's really cool looking. I like the art of that. But Haredo no Okami has learned Dragon Hustle. This persona can't remember anything else, so change what you want. Increases party's attack, defense, and hit and evade. What? That is really good. That's better than one person getting an out attack up. So, yeah. Dragon Hustle is, like, basically a, um, ten times better than that. It's basically that, but, like, on steroids. Dragon Hustle has replaced a Tarakasha, which is obviously really good. <laughs> That's really, really good. Wow, Chie's got a really good um, support ability. Um, is this power mine? Yeah, it is. I wonder if this will help me do more to protect the ones I love. Hmm, maybe. Um, that includes you too, you know, since I love you. Aw, I'll protect you too. <laughs> um, what? I'm, I'm gonna be the one protecting you. I mean, I love you more. Wait, what? Um, what have you got me saying? Sheesh. <laughs> you can sense Chie's unconditional love. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. You spent time talking about all sorts of things with Chie until it became dark out. Okay, so um, I'm going to do this early because of the fact that um, when I was going to do the envelope thing here, I accidentally skipped past this, so I had to reload the save. But there's actually a story here for the night, so let's see what we got. I know it's about Marie, that's all I know. You remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Hmm. Marie, in her social rank. That was rank 1, rank 2, rank 3. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Is this a dream? You think back on your memories of Marie. Hmm. Strange. Okay, very small story. Which I did remember that, but... Strange. Hmm. Oh, hello, Margaret. Um, hello. I apologize for interrupting your morning. Um, I thought it would be best to inform you of my progress in the search for Marie. Hmm? You found more? Um, locating Marie's whereabouts has proven to be more difficult than I expected. It seems that she left our room with an incredibly strong will. No, her fate lies with you. She has left you to be exact. 
She must have had a very strong reason to do so. Please allow me to some more time to pinpoint your location. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Okay. At least we have an answer on Marie. Why did Marie leave? You have no choice but to wait until Marie's whereabouts have been discovered. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, there's only one way to find that out. Classes have ended for today, so honestly, we already know where we're going. So honestly, go straight into town, go straight to Juness, and we're going straight into Teddy to finish off the final True Awakening. So here we go. Um, oh, Sensei, you came. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about was, um, no, I can't say it here. Um, the mood's all wrong. The best place for what I want to say would be the ocean. Let's go there, Sensei. Teddy, seem Teddy seems to want to go to the ocean. You will, will you spend the afternoon with Teddy, and that is, of course, what we're going to do. Um, woohoo. Thanks, Sensei. Um, well then, let's go. Shake while the iron's, um, hot to trot. That's a saying I've never heard. Hot to trot. Okay. I've heard the, um, strength while the iron's hot before, but that last part is something I've never heard before. But... Cool, I kind of like the saying. You decided to go to the ocean w with Teddy. And with that, I believe that was when we made our true bond with Teddy, too. So honestly, this makes the most sense to come here. You came to the beach with Teddy. I'm surprised we're still wearing our winter um, Yasso, to be honest. Um, woohoo. It's so huge. So wide. So salty. <laughs> you forgot about this place? Um, wait, the salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. Hmm. <laughs> We're still having you skate all the way here, poor dude. Um, wow, the winter sea is really cool too. Um, coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you two. Um, th that, this must be the true charm of the winter sea. Hmm, I guess. Teddy is in high spirits. Hmm. This is the first time I've seen someone actually happy about winter and being at the beach. Um, Sensei over here. Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around and surf. Um, come on, try and catch me. Um, okay, I'll chase you around. Even though our character technically doesn't want to do it, but honestly, I don't mind it. You play with Teddy for a while. Hmm. Well, now we're just sitting out here, staring at the sea. Um, Sensei, why is the sea so huge? Um, because the world is huge. Yeah, exactly. Hmm, the world? I know what that is, but it's where everything is and everything in it is connected. Yeah. Teddy gazes out in the over the horizon. horizon. Um, the sea sparkly. Hmm, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, I didn't know anything about anything until I met you and everyone else. Fun things, uh, feelings, and that make me want to cry. How oh, the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything, and I never thought about wanting to learn either. Hmm, it's fine, bud. I can feel all kinds of things in me. Now all these feelings created after I met all of you. I think that's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. Um, there's still tons of things I don't understand and I don't know what I'm going to do from here either, but I've decided that I'm going to do the best with this life that I can. Even though I was scared, I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful shiny world. That's why <laughs> you too, Sensei. Um, sen sensei. Hmm? Aw, the poor guy is sad that I'm leaving, I think. Teddy is shedding large tears. Well, because you're going away soon. I want you to know, Sensei. Uh, but I feel, felt like I, if I told you, then you'd leave for good. <laughs> Aw. I'm sorry. It's still a long way off, bud. Yeah, you're fine. We got a little bit more time to hang out. Uh, how how long is that in Topsicles? If I stop eating them, will it never come? Teddy is sobbing convulsively. Aw, poor, poor little guy. Um, but I'll be okay. Sad, but being part, um, sad is part of life, too. Um, I made my decision to stop relying on you so much, Sensei. Um, I will now enter the independent Teddy chapter of my life, so that this time I can be your Sensei. Aw, that's actually pretty cool. Teddy smiles cheerfully. Hmm. Well, we'll see how you do, bud. But with that, Teddy has now went through his final awakening. This is literally the final true awakening we're going to go through. So with that, Teddy's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. I actually wonder how it's going to turn out. Oh, that's not bad. It's like a giant blimp. <laughs> okay, then. And he's got a little rose because he's a um, hopeless romantic on the um, back rocket thing. And then he's got a little crown on top. 
That's actually kind of cool. Oh, is this a reference to the story that Nanako was telling us about? The, um, the king? That Teddy was a king? That's actually kind of cool. I just noticed that because I was wondering why he had the crown. And I know why he would have the rose on the back. And then the cape makes sense for the king as well. I'm not sure what the the rainbow blimp is for, but cool. That's actually really nice. It kind of has a couple like story-based uh, elements in it. I actually really like that. Teddy's persona has been reborn again. Kamui has transfigured into Kamui Moshiri. Hmm? Moshiri, you say? Kamui Miracle. Okay. This persona can't remember any more skills, so please choose one to forget. Anything could happen. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. I don't want to get rid of my Mufudai, and I don't want to get rid of my heavy physical. I'm going to say let's get rid of our Amarita. I think I'll be fine without this, I think. So, it's, of course, because it sounds like something that we want to have. It's probably got, like, you know, different effects, and it's probably, like, a random kind of skill. But honestly, I might as well get it. There's no reason not to. And it's literally his final skill, so honestly, let's just throw it in. Kamui Miracle for Amarita. I'll take it, honestly. We can buy items if we need Amarita, honestly, because Amarita sodas exist, and honestly, the main character kind of can easily get the skill sets like that, and also, Yukiko has the better version of that, so honestly, I think we'll be fine. Um, holy moly, something came out. Um, I'm all new, I'm an all new model now. Uh, Teddy version 3, or is it 4? Um, maybe I should try studying, uh, stud t sh maybe I should study county first. Oh, but even though I've entered my independent phase, I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me. Um, I'm not that independent yet. <laughs> well, obviously. You sense an unchanging strong bond with Teddy. <laughs> okay, little buddy. And um, we'll definitely hang out with you before we end up leaving. You and Teddy sit and talk about all the kind thing kind of things until the sun begins to set. Okay, I believe this is going to be the final thing we do for today. So with 119, right before Dojima and Nanako come back for the next day, I think that will be our next adventure for the next episode. So with that, let's actually do Ko's next rank up and leaving him with only one left. So with that, let's see how Ko's doing. Oh, hey Spooks, you're going to practice, right? You feel your relationship with Ko is going to become closer soon. Will you attend basketball practice this afternoon? And that's an obvious yes. Oh, sweet. Let's give it all best shot. Ko looks happy. I just thought of this. I actually forgot to grab a bunch of personas to make sure these um, social links go up faster, but I completely forgot about about that due to the fact that it's, uh, we've been just doing True Awakenings. <laughs> that actually would have been um, better for this, actually. I don't know if um, we have to worry about not having enough points, but you attended basketball practice. Your diligence has increased, even though we're actually at the max of every um, um, social stat now. So literally everything's maxed out now, so that really doesn't even matter now. But that's going to be good if I ever do a second playthrough, because now I don't have to worry about social stats anymore. Samagawa Riverbank. Ko wanted to be by the river, so you stopped by on the way home. Hmm. Why here of all places? Hmm. This place brings back a lot of memories. The first time I came here was with also with my first time in town, right after the Ishio family took me in. The sky was totally clear, except for the setting sun, and the light hitting on the water made it shine. Hmm. It was beautiful, it helped me decide something. I thought, from now on, I am an Ishio. I convinced myself that the old me was dead, at least that's what I thought. Hmm. Uh, but you were just kidding then, right? True. Oh, yes. Isn't that crazy? A little kid thinking like that. But I guess even kids have stuff on their minds sometimes, too. Hmm, I guess. Uh, funny thing is, I never really became an Ishio. I looked, sounded, and acted like one, but I it was just a mask I wore. And now that I don't have to wear that mask anymore, I guess it's time for me to step off the stage. Hmm? Uh, don't jump to conclusions, dude. Um, well, I haven't reached any conclusions yet. Besides, I'd never just wander off without telling you guys. Ko smiles gently. Um, it just makes me feel kinda empty, knowing that my real parents are dead. It's like I have no roots. Hmm. Oh, uh, we should go visit their graves after practice sometime. True, we could. 
Um, I wouldn't even know where to find him. I've got the letter, but no, where whoever wrote it didn't sign it. They didn't mention my parents' names either. Hmm. Uh, whoever handed you over uh, to the orphanage wrote that letter, right? Wouldn't that mean uh, they've been holding on to it like for 10 years? It's pretty rough asking someone to remember what happened 10 years ago. Hmm, true. Oh, 10 years ago. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, uh, you're still carrying that thing? Oh, yeah, well, I can't let anyone at, at the house see it, so... Huh? Hmm? Hmm, the name on the front, Kosama, is smeared, like someone rubbed their hand against it. Um, uh, maybe they just wrote it in a hurry. Hmm, uh, plus the corner in the envelope is sharp enough to give you a paper cut. Oh, so you're saying the envelope is new? Oh, uh, what do you think? It was written recently. That was what I was kind of thinking, but it's, it's good that's an option. Huh, you think so too, then. Go not seriously. Oh, uh, what does this mean? Um, I think the head of the orphanage must have written it. Huh? When I was when I visited, she could have probably tell I was depressed. Hmm. Strange then. So you're saying his parents might be alive? <laughs> huh. Kind of weird for them to forge a letter though. It's kind of weird. Oh, uh, hey, sure, man. You know it's a fake. Uh, it sounds bad to call it fake, but she didn't put, do it to put a fa pull fast one on you. Hmm. Uh, no, you've got it all wrong. I'm happy. I'm glad there is such nice people out there in the world. Um, maybe the letter is true, or maybe it is just a nice lie. But all the same, someone was there to give birth to me. Someone was there to raise me. And as uh, someone is there to watch over me, like this. Hmm. I thought I had no roots, no ties to anybody, but that's not true. Uh, took you long enough to get the picture, stupid. <laughs> yeah, we're here. I'm um, stupid. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, I'm the one who told you that you'd always have us, stupid. <laughs> true. Um, well, I'm rubber, your glue. <laughs> Ko's eyes are red, but he's laughing. It seems you were able to support Ko when he needed you most. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. Also, because I was able to save before this, I actually might go back in here and make sure to have the, um, the persona for him, just so we don't have to worry about missing social link points, just in case. It might save us some time. But well, rank 8, 9 in the Strength Arcana. Cool, cool. The fellow athlete social link has reached level 9. Powder Creep Persona of the Strength Arcana has grown as well. Oh, man, you got a really ugly mug, you know that? Wanna go for a swim, ugly? It'll be like old times. <laughs> huh, yeah. Come to think of it, we used to play around here, didn't we? Hmm, okay. Oh, how about you? Wanna go full dip? Um, I better get home. It's a little too cold, dude. Uh, well, but you have a choice. Uh-oh, they're gonna throw us into that freezing cold water. Um, whoa, it's freaking cold. Uh, you horsed around in the river with Ko and Dasuke, then went home. And just like always, like I said, we're going to be ending today's episode here, but we might as well check just in case. You never know. And it looks like he's just talking about Nanachan coming back home, and it looks like we're good. So with that, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. In the next episode, Ko, or not Ko, Nanako, <laughs> well, she is Ko at the end of her name, but Nanako and Dojima will be coming back home on 120 which we do know that, so I believe we're going to be starting to progress into the next chapter in the next episode. I don't think we're going to be getting into the next dungeon soon, but I believe it's going to be sometime in February for sure. So with that, thank you all for watching today's episode, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. So, peace out, keep being spooky, and see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.